Am I the asshole for correcting my stepdaughter's dad when he called me her nanny? I've been with my wife for eight years now. She has primary custody of her daughter, Santana. Santana sees her dad, Mark, every other weekend and some holidays. As I've been one of Santana's primary caretakers for the past seven years since I moved in with her mom. I've taken care of her more than Mark has and we are quite close. My wife and I went on to have two children together, who are now five years and 18 months. I've been a stay-at-home dad since the five-year-old was born. As a result, I'm the one making lunches, driving kids to activities, etc. That includes for Santana. Mark has always felt insecure about my place in Santana's life. I've always encouraged her relationship with her dad, while also being a place she can go to in order to vent about both her parents. I've never asked her to call me dad, but I've made it clear I love her the same as her siblings. And she's also said she loves me and considers me her second dad. Mark also mocks me for my SAHD role. My wife always shuts him down and I just ignore him. He has in the past jokingly called me Santana's nanny and I just roll my eyes and say whatever you think. Mark. I really don't see him much as my wife will take Santana to her dad's and pick her up. However, yesterday, my wife was sick and asked me to pick up Santana. She really couldn't get out of bed and I knew Mark wasn't going to drive out to us he's refused in the past. So, I went over to his place to pick her up. He was throwing a barbecue and had some family there. I had never met any of them. Santana ran into my arms, excited to see me and shouting my name. A few people looked at Mark curiously. He laughed and said that's Santana's nanny. I shook my head and said I'm her stepfather. Greg, nice to meet you all. Mark turned red and barely said goodbye to Santana. I didn't think much of it outside Mark just being Mark. However, Mark texted my wife later saying I humiliated him and given I'd likely never see those people. Again, I shouldn't have said anything. My wife told him he's overreacting and he then texted me, saying I had no right to correct him in his own home. He asked what was the big deal in his family thinking I'm her nanny. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole but man Mark must be feeling really insecure about himself that's for sure. You're doing great Greg. Santana is lucky to have you. What? No not the asshole. And you certainly didn't humiliate anyone. He asked what was the big deal in his family thinking I'm her nanny. Did you respond because it's not the truth? Not the asshole. And not just for what you said. He has probably told everyone there at some point a story about his ex and partner. You turn up. Nice and pleasant. His daughter clearly adores you. And Elle can see people putting together the puzzle and coming up with a different picture. And he was caught in his own bullshit. Not the asshole. He humiliated himself. You sound like a great parent. Not the asshole. The big deal is that you're not her nanny. He was embarrassed because his daughter was so excited to see you. In front of his family. So he tried to minimize your importance. When you corrected him, he was exposed as an insecure liar. His family knows how often he sees his daughter. They also now have proof of her affection towards you. The man who lives with her and raises her. He humiliated himself. Not the asshole. Mark humiliated himself by calling you a nanny. You merely set the record straight. Well played. And good for you for standing up for yourself. Him calling you nanny in front of his family was both an insult and a power play.
You correcting him in front of his family not only pulled the rug out from under him. It demonstrated to his family and friends how much of a jerk he is. Always be civil to the step-parents' parents in front of the kids. Always. That's basic expectations. Not the asshole. Not the asshole if Santana witnessed this. You should tell her that you love her and you love your role as her stepfather. Let her know that Mark's comments about you being the nanny upset you. Because you are a much more important person in her life than a nanny would be. Make sure Santana knows that you care about her and that her father's comments are hurtful for that reason. Not the asshole. In his attempt to humiliate you, he humiliated himself. They call this just desserts. Clearly he's a deeply insecure person who is likely jealous of your involvement with Santana. You handled it perfectly. Calling him out factually in front of everyone. My guess is he will now stop calling you of course he wants you to teach him another lesson. Not the asshole. It's rich that he feels humiliated when that was his entire aim in introducing you. You handled it with class. Not the asshole. You're one of the good ones and Mark should be damn thankful for that. You have earned your place in your stepdaughter's life and bio dad doesn't get to take that away. It's more jealousy than anything. Just continue what you're doing. Santana will know who was there and made the effort and who didn't. Mark needs to cut you some slack considering you are doing what he is unable to do. Not the asshole. Play stupid games. Get humiliated. Not the asshole. Mark humiliated himself by being incorrect and petty to boot. Not the asshole you are by fact her stepfather and not her nanny. If he can't stand it then Marky Mark needs to grow up. I mean H is trying to tell in you to your wife tears of joy what's next calling your mom or mill tears of joy boo -oo poor. Marky Mark. Does Mark's family not know that his ex remarried almost a decade ago? Not the asshole that guy sounds like a real winner. Not the asshole. Mark deserved the smack anyway. Entire. But that is really funny. Not the asshole. Mark should consider himself lucky to have stepfather like you in his daughter's life. Sounds like he's salty because he tried to humiliate you in front of his family. Good for you for standing your ground. Not the asshole and it is a big deal because he is belittling not only you but his daughter by reducing your relationship to that of an employee. If he doesn't want to be humiliated he shouldn't say stupid and untrue things. You did nothing wrong. Keep being that awesome bonus dad to Santana and Mark can go pound sand. Not the asshole man fuck Mark you did the right thing. You were nicer than I would have been. I would have said I was the plumber that keeps cleaning his ex-wife's pipes. Not the asshole. Damn. What was he BB King? His own foot. He sure was in a hurry to stick it in his mouth. Not the asshole. He played himself and it backfired and now he's embarrassed. He then texted me. Saying I had no right to correct him in his own home. Similar to the way he's had no right to mislabel your role for the past X number of years. He asked what was the big deal in his family thinking I'm her nanny. What's the big deal if his family knows you're her stepfather? Mark just played the FAFO game and lost gosh. I can't imagine why your wife divorced this small, petty, insecure man. Not the asshole. Am I the asshole? For having rules for my stepdaughter. My husband and I have his daughter. For a week. I'm fine with this. And have absolutely zero problem with her being here. Her mother works full time and so does her brother and she's too young to stay alone all day. 
The issue came about today when I laid down rules for her while she's here. I don't think they're unreasonable but my husband and stepdaughter think they are. Here they are. 1. No electronics after 11 p.m. That's no laptop, tablet, switch, etc. She can have a movie on for bed. But I set the timer and take the remote or she'll stay up all night. 2. Awake and out of bed by 11 a.m. or she'll sleep all day. 3. 3 hours maximum on her tablet each day. 4. She can't stay in her room all day. 5. She helps clean up after dinner putting dishes in the dishwasher. 6. Practice basic hygiene She's in the throes of puberty and is in the I don't wanna shower brush. My hair teeth etc. phase. That's it. That's literally it. But apparently I'm being too harsh because it's summertime. I've also spoken with her mother and she agrees with me on the rules and says they have the same at their house so I'm not sure why I'm being met with so much pushback from husband and child. So, am I the asshole? Here. Edit for some extra clarity. When I spoke with her mother, my husband was in the room and I had her mother on speaker. He heard the whole conversation. He initially agreed to help enforce these rules, but changed his stance at the SD's first tantrum. These are the same rules she has at her mother's house. We've been together for five and a half years. These were not set out of spite, they were set for consistency. Not the asshole. I am confused. These are extremely basic house rules. And they should have come from your husband. As the stepmom, you are in a no-win situation. Good luck. Op. Entire. Dad is trying to be fun parent. Not the asshole I'm sorry but we shouldn't be encouraging children to be hermits. Allowing her to have freedom and alone time is one thing and that's normal but what's an 11 year old doing up past 11 p.m. anyway? Also if your stepdaughter's mother doesn't have a problem with the rules it just sounds like your husband is playing nice parent. Not the asshole especially since you spoke with mom. She is trying to push your boundaries. Stay strong and have dad help out. Not the asshole. From all the comments. Op. Discussed these expectations with her husband beforehand. He initially agreed. Double checked with SD's mom. Who has primary custody. These are the same rules and expectations as at her house. Husband changed his tune the moment SD threw a tantrum in a clear and successful tactic to manipulate her father. Op is not the asshole for being a cooperative co-parent. Or for trying to hold her husband to an agreement. Or for enforcing some very basic rules and expectations in her house. Her husband needs to step up and be a parent. Not his kid's friend. Not the asshole. You spoke with her mom and are keeping the rules consistent. I seriously cannot understand all the YTA votes here who think you should send the child back to her mom after a week of not having brushed her teeth or taken a shower. Gross. None of these rules are extreme or unreasonable. If dad is unwilling to enforce the same rules she has every day in mom's house and won't even. Expect his 11 Y. O. Oh, to brush her teeth I roll. Dad is the problem. Info does the child consider you a parent or just dad's new wife? Info did you and your husband not talk about expectations beforehand? Just one are you doing through the day to keep her occupied? Not the asshole. None of the rules are unreasonable and you've discussed these with her primary carer who seems fine with it. As well as confirming the daughter has similar rules at her mom's home. 
I don't see why your husband objects to these given the above. All these rules seem fine to me. But sleeping in during early puberty can be really important. I'd let her sleep in late if she doesn't have family plans or clubs. Entar. Not the asshole for enforcing consistency between homes. It will greatly benefit her in the long run. The fact that your spouse is not having your back in this instance is worrying. If the child sees that her behavior gets a positive reaction from an adult it will reinforce that behavior in her. She could interpret her dad disagreeing with you as a way to make the time she spends at your home. Free reign. Not the asshole. You, my dear, have a husband problem. Not the asshole but I'd recommend letting her dad take the lead in setting and enforcing the rules. And also he should be the one communicating with her mom. Not you. I would absolutely hate if I had a stepmom or dad who enforced rules on me I absolutely would not care if I had the same rules in my other house, the dad should have told her the rules your husband is tar assuming he's trying to be the fun parent. Not the asshole. They're pretty similar to our summer rules. Except we have less screen time. No TVs in bedrooms. Daily chores but no wake up time. Is there a specific issue she has? Maybe a place where you can discuss and compromise. Nah. You are actually going out of your way to be a good parent. The kid is being a kid. I'm not convinced your husband is an R. When you say you have her for a week. It sounds like he doesn't get as much custody. So he's probably used to being the fun parent. Doesn't see her as much. And a week isn't really a long time to go with lax rules. If this was some kind of extended stay I would definitely think she needs more rules. But for such a short time it is basically just letting her take a vacation. Being a step-parent is hard work. I commend you for trying to work with the mother. Seems like you have managed nicely there. My suggestion would be to have the husband speak with the mother. If the two of them aren't on the same page. The kid will sense it and drive a wedge between the two of you. Not the asshole. But unless mom steps in and says dad you're being manipulated. Here are the rules I want all of us to agree on you can't possibly win. Either stepdaughter will resent you or you will resent her and your husband. These are the same rules she has at her mother's house. These were not set out of spite. They were set for consistency. I'm pragmatic. Based on this it's very simple not the asshole. Rules and punishment shouldn't come from the step-parent unless the child is three or four and under. Let your husband do his job. Not the asshole. This is beyond reasonable and generous for an 11 feet year old. Not the asshole. These are extremely generous and basic rules that add up to act like a functioning human. Not a slug. What's the alternative? Don't shower and spend 16 hours a day in her room staring at screens. That's setting up bad habits that will only get worse with time. Not better. And she's only 11. E.T. Amy thinks dad doesn't want to spend the time effort money to actually do activities and outings. With her and if she's holed up in her room then she's out of his hair. Depends. What else does she have to do other than TV or the tablet? If she has nothing else to do for fun. Then yes. You'd be the R.